Today we'll be looking at Azure NetApp files and configuring it with TalonFast. We'll start by going to our Azure account and setting up a capacity pool on our NetApp account. We'll give it a name, select the service level and size, and click OK to create it. Once that's been created, we can create a volume on it. We'll give the volume a name, verify the information, click Protocol, and set the protocol to SMB. We'll skip through tags, and we'll get the validation and create the volume. Once it's complete, we can click Go to Resource and see the mount path for the resource, which we'll use on our TalonFast Core VM. On our TalonFast Core VM in Azure, we'll open the TalonFast Configuration Console. We'll click through Fast Configuration and mount this core instance to the Azure NetApp Files volume we created. After entering the information, we can click Add and see it added to the list of backend file servers below. Now I can access the Azure NetApp file share directly using the mount path and copy over some test data to my ANF volume that will be extended into my branch office through TalonFast. After creating the new folder, I'll simply copy the test data into it. Now in my branch office, the edge has already been licensed. So I'll just need to click through fast configuration and create a fast fabric ID, which indicates where my core and subsequently the data center is. Then I can add the IP address of the core, click add and see the core path has been added below. Now from my workstation client, I can open Windows Explorer point this to the local edge, drill down through the fast data virtual file share and see the fast fabric that I created, the backend ANF volume, the share that we created, the test data folder, and beneath that the cold or uncached data that I had just copied. When I open this Word doc, it's pulling the file from the ANF volume, taking a central file lock, caching it to my edge in the branch office, and then serving the file to the client workstation. At this point, I'll make a few changes, add some information, and save and close the application. I'll refresh the folder view, and we can see that the size and metadata information has changed, which indicates the file has been updated and written to the ANF volume in Azure via the TalonFast fabric. Now, to demonstrate how TalonFast facilitates global data integrity with our central file locking mechanism, I'll reopen the file from our first branch office edge. When we go to another branch office and access the same centralized data set, but through their local TalonFast edge, we can see that the application behaves as we'd expect with a file lock, and we're presented with the usual options. I'll choose to open a read-only copy, and we can see the latest and greatest version of the file based on what's in the authoritative data center copy.